Hello, my name is Mike Rocca and I'm a CAD Application Support Specialist with the Florida Department of Transportation. Today I'll be going through the FDOT Civil 3D Subassembly Composer Training Guide. In this series of videos, I will take you step by step through each exercise from the guide. Today we'll start with Chapter 5 Codes. Let's begin. Point, Link, and Shape Codes Point, Link, and Shape Codes can be assigned directly in Subassembly Composer by typing any name under the Point, Link, and Shape Code. Code names must be in quotes. Continue working on the same file or open file 5.0 codes start.pkt from the C Projects 2204955201 Roadway folder. First, highlight the P1 and L1 rectangle in the flowchart panel. Under the Properties panel, Type in EOP for edge of pavement under point codes. In the preview panel, toggle on the codes box at the lower left corner of the window. If the code doesn't show up in the preview panel as expected, or you get a red notification in the flowchart panel, put your cursor over the notification and it'll tell you what the error is. Here it's telling me the code EOP is not valid input parameter or variable. That means that I need to come down here for the point codes and put quotation marks before and after the abbreviation for the point code. Press enter, uncheck codes and check it again. The error message should disappear and then you should see the edge, of the edge of pavement or EOP code displayed in brackets on the right hand side of your shape. If multiple point codes are to be assigned to one point, names have to be separated by a comma. On the properties panel for point P2, under point codes, type in a comma next to EOP. And then type in quotation mark ETW quotation mark. Point 2 has two point codes assigned to it. Notice that P2 displays now both the EOP and the ETW point code names in brackets. If they don't show up in the preview panel, try toggling off and then back on the codes box in the lower left hand corner of the window. Note, to display both the EOP and ETW codes in the preview pane, you may have to roll your scroll wheel in and out or move your mouse around. Go back and select P2 and L1. Scroll down in the Properties panel and under Link, type in Top for the codes. Next, select the L4 rectangle from the flowchart panel. And on the Properties panel, type in Datum under Link Codes. Select the S1 rectangle from the flowchart panel. And on the properties panel, type in asphalt under shape codes. In the preview panel, point codes for P2, L1, L4, and S1 are displayed in brackets. If they don't show up, either click fit to screen or toggle on codes off and on. This concludes chapter five.